Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to a Nostalgiasm for the Settlers 2 Gold Edition. Now, I've played a little bit of Settlers more recently, but I never grew up with the Settlers, and you guys have helped me learn some amazing things about this game. And a new Settlers has been announced for 2019, so let's go ahead and get things started. So what we're gonna do today is to jump into the basic Roman campaign and we're just gonna play chapter one. We're gonna play chapter one because it's amazing, it's amazing. By the way, I do know there's the, that music hangs, it's a MIDI song, so every time it does something the music hangs, but there is a fan-made mod out there called Return to the Roots and ooh, the birds chirping. Uh, but yes, there's a fan-made mod out there called Return to the Roots, but as far as I can tell, there's no... Um, there's no campaign. It's only free play, but it does look good. Anyway, Diary of Octavius, fourth day after shipwreck. Yesterday, all the survivors met in order to discuss the situation, because there is no prospect of an early rescue. We decided to settle on this foreign island. The items salvaged from the ship will be of great help to us. The most important thing is to make use of the raw materials on the island in order to establish a settlement. We urgently need accommodations for a woodcutter, carpenter, and stonemason. Build accommodations for those three things. So, the premise of this game... Jeez, uh, can there's a way of turning off the birds, but you know, I'm just gonna leave it on for the authentic experience of birds chirping. We're gonna leave it on for now. So these Romans have been shipwrecked, and this is uh, this is what we've got. We've got to build things now. This game is super weird because we have to press spacebar and build things around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down a woodcutter there. We're gonna put down. A quarry there. And is that all we can build right now? Oh, we can get a sawmill as well. So I'm gonna put the sawmill... Oh, it doesn't have to be there. It just has to be like here. I'm gonna put the sawmill right here. Now the road system in this game is weird. We have to build a road to bring it back there. We have to build a road to bring it back there. And we have to build a road to bring it back there. And the more flags we put on the road, the faster things happen, because... How these flags work is that a worker exists between the two flags. So, when resources need to come from here to there, the worker here will pick up the wood, let's say, and move it to here. Then this worker will pick up the wood and move it to there. So the more flags along the road we have, the more workers we have. That is so weird. It's so weird. And it's no wonder that Settlers 1 and 2 are known as like the original Settlers experience. But Settlers 3 onwards, I think, got rid of this road system. So I'm very interested to see how... How... The next Settlers, the 2019 Settlers, is gonna do this? Is it going to go back to the classic system or is it going to do new things? And I've never played any Settlers except for this one uh, recently. So hmm, we'll see how it goes. But let's let's build the three things. Now we have zoom, which is the Z key. Now can someone please remind me what the speed up uh, the speed up uh, button was? How do we control the speed in this game? What was the hotkey for that? I can't remember how to speed up the game. There's a way to speed up the game, and I want to do that. Hmm. Someone let me know in chat. V, thank you so much. There we go. We're going to speed things up here. Now, those birds... Uh... Oh. Oh, my sinuses. Oh, isn't that better? Isn't that better? Oh. By the way, we also have various music options. We're currently on the MIDI player. Which plays various songs, but I think it just plays the same song on loop. We could go to the CD player and go to random mode, and it'll play the CD tracks randomly, which might be nicer. We'll try this. We'll try this. 
Ah. See, which do you guys prefer? The classic MIDI music or the CD MP3 tracks? Which do you prefer? I have... I, like, by the way, Nostalgiasm is a series where we go back and... You know, experience an old game. Whether it's from my past or your past, we can tell. This is a nostalgic game, right? <laughs> ah, okay. So, we're getting these three up because we need to get all of these up. And look at this. The graphics are nice though, right? I like the colors. This game is uh, this game is pretty old and it looks pretty good. I was reading the manual, by the way. Someone passed me the, a PDF of the Settlers 2 manual and it basically said Settlers 2 is a better version of Settlers 1, right? Improved graphics, fixed, Mechanics that they wanted to include but never managed to, stuff like that. Eighth day after shipwreck. The basic requirements for building up our settlement have been met. However, the supply of trees in this region will not last long. We need a forester to ensure a long-term supply of timber. Build a forester. No problem. And we'll build a forester... ...near here. Uh, maybe I'll put it up here. Uh... Let me do this, do this. Hold on, it's not working. Click that. Forester, right there. Oh, and it auto-connects? Perfect. So the forester will keep trees going, and I've been told that one forester can support two woodcutters. So I'm gonna put down a woodcutter right there. And you can hook that up there. So two woodcutters, one forester. Slick says two to one, yeah. So this is what you guys have told me, so I'm going with it. Uh, by the way, figuring this game out, if you've never played a Settlers game, is confusing. It's confusing. Andy Bowie says, not sure if I can watch this, the graphics hurt my eyes. L the pixel art is actually very impressive except for their faces. <laughs> I have to say, their faces are a little... Mm. But besides that, look at these trees. The trees are pretty good. Look at that, they've actually put in a pixel, like a couple pixels for the mouth. But the terrain, this grass, those flowers, these rocks, the trees, all look actually really nice. Right? Eleventh day of the second month after shipwreck. We are still not sure whether we are the only people on this island. As a precautionary measure, we should erect a barracks on the exposed border towards the interior of the island. Build a barracks on the northern border of your settlement. Fantastic. So, oh, fifth day of the third month. Our territory has spread as far as the mountains in the north. Our geologists will carry out a land survey there. In the long term, we need to fuel and... In the long term, we need fuel and building materials as well as weapons and coined gold. We must therefore find a source of iron ore, gold, co coal, and granite. Okay. So, first, let us get that barracks right there. And we also need to put, like, a flag right here to build a road back to home base so that we can send a geologist to go explore those mountains. And we also need to build a road to hook up to there. And I was told to fill these roads with flags because that just makes things more efficient. There we go. Look at all those flags. You guys happy? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. This random music is pretty good. The music is actually a little loud as well. So I'm just gonna drop, does this work? It doesn't work at all. Don't end game. I guess it's fine. it's fine. Actually, it is really loud. Let me just read this message. 16th day of the sixth month. We have found iron ore and are now able to produce weapons. There are now no obstacles to further exploration of the island. First, we must construct both an iron mine and an iron smelter. An armorer can then start to produce swords and shields. We must also provide the miners with food. Our stocks are almost exhausted. We need hunters and fishermen. Build all of that stuff. And I'm just gonna pop out to here. And I'm going to just drop the music a tiny bit. So it's not too loud. There we go. That should be better. Okay, okay. And we're 
back in. Okay. So, it mentioned we found some stuff. He's still prospecting. I don't see see these blank signs. That means there's nothing there. We need to find some iron. But what was it that we needed to build? Fishery. Right. So, I want to put the fishery uh, near the edge here. Near the water. It should be good if it's here, right? We'll build the fishery there. Build the road to hook it up to there. Okay, so the fishery is going to go down there. We also need a hunter right here. Which we will build a road to hook up to there. That looks good. So we found some stuff over there. Was there something else we needed to build? Armory and iron smelter. Right. So we need... An iron smelter and an armory. Looks like our territory has expanded. I'm gonna build the road to hook that up there. Can this get to here? It can. Perfect. And this can head to there. Wonderful. Wonderful. And we can then just erect a flag there to hook that up and send the geologist there. And continue to build barracks on our northern borders like this. Filling the road with flags. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Our geologist has found a spring. We are now able to supply fresh water to our settlement. Good. So we've got some places we can build mines here. Iron mine can go right there as we hook that up to there. Where did it find a spring? Here? So we found a spring there. Which I assume we can build a well like this. That's kind of weird, but I guess that will work if we just fill this with flags. This road system is super weird. It's super weird. <laughs> I have never played another game that has a road system like this. Right? Is there any other game that has a road system like this? It's not even a road system, it's a flag system. It's a flag system. Hmm. Okay, well... We're still looking for other resources, so... We have ensured a fuel supply for the metal works by finding coal in the western mountains. Now we can process our metal ores without any problems. Everything is going extremely well. Okay, so he just found coal. So we need to continue building barracks here. Well, can I build flags here? I can. More flags the better. Which means we can also hook that up like that. Okay. Okay, okay. It's why it's so good. <laughs> uh. By the way, the stream lagged out just now. Yeah, I noticed, but I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyway, we've got a barracks there, so we just need a soldier to enter the barracks, and that'll expand our territory, allowing us to get that coal. So come on, here comes the soldier. Off he goes. Oh, I like these these flowery trees. Look at these trees. They're so well designed. I mean, pixel art is hard, but they manage to communicate a flowery tree really well. There we go. So we can now... Um, why can't I put a mine there? Does a mine have to be on the resource? Or can it be next to the resource? I'm not too sure. But we do need to continue our barracks expansion here. Flag. Flag. Okay. Chaos Fang's dropping 200 bits. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not... Because it's found a resource, but I can't build a mine on it. It can only be a flag. So I'm not too sure. But you know, I guess we'll find out. I'm just gonna build a mine... A coal mine? Right there? It should work. It should work. Build a road. Hook that up. Okay. 
Uh, I did put down fishing and hunting. Yeah, that should be correct. This well is getting rid of a lot of the trees. I don't know if the hunting is still doing okay, but... It should be fine. Should be fine. Last day of the eighth month after coming ashore. There is an open, fertile plain to the north of our new border post. This will provide lots of new opportunities for expanding our settlement, but we need more soldiers to do this. Go to the northern plain and continue expanding the border. Looks good. Twelfth day of the ninth month. After advancing further north, we have finally found enough space to construct larger buildings and farms. We now intend to search for raw materials in the surrounding mountains. Search for new raw materials and secure a supply of food. Explore the entire island. Okay, so we basically need to... Get a flag over there. Build a road over. Call a geologist! And just fill this with flags, I guess? What is this song? I know it's the 90s, but... This song is 90s? <laughs> actually, it's kind of 80s, actually. It's like an 80s love film, right? A romance film from the 80s? That's what I'm imagining right now. They like, they like, like, raising their hands in the 80s. <laughs> uh, Sebastos Fig, welcome to the stream. We are building a barracks and exploring. Oh, that drum beat. <laughs> what is this song? It's a song. It's definitely a song. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Hmm. Makes you want to cry. I guess I should just hook a road up here, right? Just in case we need to transport things that way. Yeah. So we're just waiting for that barracks to come down. And we also need to build a farm. So farms need, like, open terrain around it. So I'm going to build this road to hook up to there. And we also needed to put down... Oh, we can't build a bakery yet. And I think I read that a bakery needs to be near the mines. So you want the bakery not too far off from these mines? That seems like a good idea. Right? It's just fun. We don't have the bakery yet. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Are we getting enough resources? It's hard to tell. Farm requires lots of open terrain, so yeah, I'm gonna try keep this surrounding grassland and put the next farm up there somewhere, I think. Now, some people said last time that this is pretty much flags the game. <laughs> and you start to see why, with all these flags on the screen. Hmm. Transport doesn't matter too much. Yeah, I think as long as you fill the roads with flags, it's okay. Our coal mine is about to complete. Waiting on resources. Can I fit flags here? Oh, I can fit a flag there. Okay. Yeah, so putting a flag there doubles the speed of transport for this road just by doing that is that barracks then it's not done yet okay quarry is clearing up some of these stones we might need to set up another quarry over there soon i guess oh i could also build a landing flag i don't want to do that I just want to erect a flag there hook that up and I can send a scout that way and I can put a flag here build a road back home and send a scout that way to scout out these sides of the island barracks is complete soldier is coming up allowing us to take more of this grassland Bam, that's good uh, let us put uh, another barracks there we will build the road to hook up to there I think Flag, flag, 
lots of empty space, so I'm going to put the farm there. Second farm, build a road down to there. We can put a quarry right there. Hook a road up to here. Is that how I want it to go? Should be fine. Lag. Lag. That's going to be a farm. So I also want to put a flag there. Hook a road up that way. Send a scout up that way. Okay. So we are dominating this tutorial mission, in case you can't tell. <laughs> we are we are dominating. Two farms should be good. Should be good. Uh, okay, we've scouted that out. I guess we could scout a little bit to the south here as well. Hook that up. Send a scout there. We've scouted out this side. And by the way, guys, this was so confusing for me the first time. Guys, the Earth is a sphere. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Look at that. that! That was so confusing. I was like, oh, there's more land over there. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh! Okay. I was not expecting that on a game this old. It was quite impressive. Quite impressive. Uh. Okay, so... Do we need to... I don't think we need to expand up that side, right? Uh, we can continue exploring... That's a snow-capped mountain, so I guess we don't need to... I could send a geologist here. There's some missing signs there, I guess. We're still looking for gold. We've got coal, we've got iron. We, I don't see granite. I don't see... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I don't see granite, I don't see gold. So I'm not sh We need to get those two resources. Uh, oh, those are... Water springs, I think? So that means I could probably shift... the spring water here. That's a farm, so I don't want to build that there. So I can I put it here? Well. I can put a well here. Hook the road back that way. Construction of your our first grain farm has been completed. The grain can either be processed into flour in a mill or used to feed pigs. The food supply situation should now continue to improve. Okay, and I wanted to get rid of this well. Is that the correct button? Demolish, yes. Jeez, you didn't have to burn it down. Remove this road. Um, pull down flag. Pull down flag. Okay, we, we just... We just r burnt down the well. That's... That's a bit extreme. Uh, but okay. Uh, barracks is down. We are continuing to go this way. Build a barracks there. Hook a road up to there. Fill the road with flags. We wanted to maybe erect a flag there. And... Uh, here. Build a road down to there. Build a road down to there. Call in a geologist. Call in a geologist. Okay. And our first grain farm... It's this one, right? Yeah. Are we growing stuff? I think so. I think so? Wait, no, this is the farm. I'm so confused. These are the barracks. This is the farm. Those are the fields. Great. Second farm will be coming down there. So we've scouted this way. I mean, some of these details are nice. Look look at this fallen tree by the rocks. Completely unnecessary, but they, they designed it. It's great. Oh, we've scouted all of this. So that's good. That's looking like a little nice oasis there. Geologists are coming to scout these mountains. So yeah, we're missing granite and um, gold. Oh, we were supposed to build some things. Right. Uh, can I put down the mill right there? We have discovered a gold vein and can now produce valuable coins in a mint. This will make life here almost as comfortable as at home. 
That's all we needed was gold. Uh, I'm going to put a gold mine right there. Look up a road right there. Looks good. Yep. So now we just need granite, if I recall correctly. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Try Return to the Roots for a challenge or try out the custom maps. Yes, if you are not playing the campaign, totally check out Return to the Roots. It is a fan-made mod, gets this game into HD widescreen, and it's pretty good. Geologists have found granite deposits in the mountains. This will provide a fresh supply of stone for the time being. Where is it? That. Granite mine. Good, good. So this road... Just hooks up to there, I guess. Can I pull down this flag? Have the flag there instead. Build a road to here. And have this hooked up to there. Is that connected? If I pull down this flag, I can build a road to there. That should speed things up a little bit. Good, good, good. That looks better. So we've got granite, gold, coal, and iron. Barracks are coming down. This one is there. Look how confusing this is. <laughs> That's so confusing. Second farm is down. Should have plenty of space. I'm not sure if four or five fields are the most it can have. I think it's five. There's five here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five fields. So five should be the max. Where's the soldier coming up to this barracks? There he is, there he is. Got a long way to go. But okay, okay. You know, I'm gonna switch back to the MIDI music for a while. MIDI player. Guys, do you have any requests? We have 1 to 14 here. Do you have a favorite track? Twelve. Fairby says twelve. Ooh, ooh, that bass. Fairby, nice choice. Ooh. One of my favorite things in music is that that bass sound. That thong boom 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 boom. Okay, okay. A lot of people are saying eight. The windmill can supply a baker with sufficient flour for making bread. Okay. No, wait, I wanna listen to eight. Nice track. 12 is good, 12 is good. 8. Oh, this one's just nice and chill. Slicks, Tandosia, you guys said 8. Nice choice, nice choice. Slick says 2 as well. Oh, this is the Asian one. Okay. You know, I'm gonna stick on the bassy, sort of funky song for now. Ah, the barracks has expanded. Fantastic. Let's continue. Barracks. Ah, great. Erect flag. Erect flag. Erectus. Mmm, mmm. I like this song. It still sounds super 80s though. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. We've got this windmill going. We've got the mines almost built up. Gold mine is being constructed right now. I think uh, the granite mine should be completed soon as well. So we just got to get that barracks going. So the goal of this first mission is to basically dominate this island. Right? There's no military properly or anything like that, but you know, this is a nostalgiasm. It's a nice, chill look back at something super nostalgic. Right? It's just, it's just a nice look back. It's a nice look back. And plus, I need to learn about the settlers before the next game comes out in 2019, so... <laughs> oh. What are those darker roads? 
They're just the roads that go on the mountains, right? Oh, these. Oh, I don't know. Guys, can someone explain to me what... There's donkeys. Can someone explain to me what these darker roads are? I, I don't know what they are. Upgraded? Oh, the flags are like more solid as well. How did they get upgraded? Tier 2 roads? Do they get upgraded just by usage? Two times the capacity. So they have a donkey on them as well as a human. Look at that. When the road gets too busy, it gets a donkey. It happens automatically. I think we do have a limited number of donkeys here. Right? I think so. Next page. Donkey breeder. No. Pig breeder. No. Pack donkey. We have 11 pack donkeys. I'm still not too sure about most of those menus. <laughs> uh. Songs 11, 13, and 14 are also interesting. Sure, let's change it up. 11. Oh, I can still do this. Great. Can I close that? Can I close it? Oh, I can keep the MIDI player here? Oh, great. Oh, that's so nice. Only old games can you do this. Because it's all still based on Windows. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Look, we got the MIDI player right up there. We can change songs as we like it. Hmm. Okay, so that barracks is now complete. Just waiting on a soldier. Let's a little tone down this song. Let's try 13. Okay, okay. This sounds a little Arabian. Is there an Arabian Civ? I know there's a few civilizations in Settlers 2. What is it? Um, we have the Romans, we have like the Japanese. What are the other two? There's Viking, right? There's four, if I recall correctly. None in this one? Okay. But there's probably in other Settlers games, right? So because we chopped down so much of the forest, I think there isn't much hunting going on. Right? You guys say two woodcutters per forester, and I think it breaks even, but it means there's no stockpile of trees. So I think if I actually get rid of the woodcutter... Let's burn this down. Yeah, that's... that's no so then trees will pile up, and then there should be more hunting available. Japanese, Africa, Vikings, Roman. Ah, I see, I see. What is 14? Oh, this barracks is done? Fantastic. Build road to there. Flag. Flag. Great. It's another sad 80s song. So now trees should start stockpiling, which should bring back animals to hunt, right? Because I'm not sure if, uh, where's our hunter? This one, right? See, it's working at 0%. So I think just having one woodcutter, one forester is better to allow for hunting, unless we have a second forest already available. Okay, I'm gonna go back to two. No, not two. I'm gonna go back to eight. Was it eight? I think it was eight. No, it was twelve. I think it was twelve. If you guys have any requests for songs, just type the number in chat. <laughs> but I, li I like this bass. These bassy vibes. Okay, so there isn't too much left to do on this map, so we just need to get this barracks down, and I think we'll win. If I send a scout up this way, I think we'll be able to see our victory condition. You can see some things up there.
You know, let me boost the volume on this. Don't mind the little hanging noise. Let me just do this. This should make things sound a little nicer. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, don't you love MIDI songs? It's actually programming. <laughs> there we go. Song six says slicks. Sure. Ooh, this one sounds a bit more militaristic. Mm -hmm. This is such a nice, pleasant game. Do any Settlers games have multiplayer in them? <clears throat> four does? Settlers 4 has multiplayer? Is it good? I'm not sure. Is it good? Oh, there it is. Our scouts have discovered a strange object. It looks like a gateway. We are obviously not the first humans on this island. They have even found an inscription on the gateway in Latin. It is bizarre and contradictory. Perhaps it is a riddle. Consiste ut procederas. Settle down in order to make progress. What can this mean? It is called The Settlers. Slick says it's good. Settlers 4 multiplayer is good. I gotta try that. I, go I gotta try that with you guys. That'll be great. You know, I think I will try check out Settlers 4 after this one. Would that be good for you? Hmm. I'll challenge you. Slicks, I think you will win that uh, challenge. <laughs> Anyway, we have pretty much scouted the whole island. There is some dead dinosaur right here. Barracks is complete. So the soldier heading on over this way, where is he? There he is. He's got to go all the way around the mountain. I'm not sure. No. Cutting through would have just taken longer, I think. But I guess if you're speedrunning, going this way would have been faster. Hmm. Are there speedruns of Settlers too? Of course there are. There's speedruns of everything. <laughs> Oh. Slicks keep stealing resources. To co you can steal resources? I didn't know. I didn't know. There's so much to these games, which I just like. I mean, if I just click on a button here, not that button. Um, what does this button do? Like, I. What? Like, huh? 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 There's so much stuff! There's stuff everywhere, stuff! I, I don't understand, but you know, we've won the video game, so it's okay. Second day of the 13th month after coming ashore. The second year, uh, year began yesterday, and we seem to have succeeded in settling this island. The scouts report strange goings on near the gateway. It appears that a path has opened up that can lead us from this island. This seems to be the meaning of the riddle. We must settle in order to move on. We shall take a look. Perhaps all roads really do lead to Rome. You have completed this mission. The second chapter awaits you. And you can press continue here so we can have a quick look at the gate here. Look at this gate. Ah, oh, it's nice, right? Hmm. Hmm. It's been a year. Yeah, time flies when you're building barracks. But look at this. This game is old. You have to press the menu button and then game menu and then end game. End chapter, do it. And that's that's how you, you win the mission, because this game is old. You have successfully completed chapter one. There's a closer look at that gateway. It looks nice, right? The artwork in this game is actually pretty decent. I assume this was a watercolor painting of some kind before they put it into the game. Is that a missing pixel? Oh, it's gone. And that's going to be mission one of The Settlers 2, which I think is a great look. It's a great little nostalgia here on the channel. Do you guys like Settlers? Because I'm going to be checking out Settlers 4 most likely after this. And I'm told 6 or 7 is also pretty good. But 6 is unlike 7, so maybe 6 and 7? I really don't know. Um, but after trying Settlers 2, I'm kind of excited for the new Settlers, which I assume is Settlers 8, but they're just calling it The Settlers in 2019. 
fall 2019 it's scheduled for. So we will keep an eye on that. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today. That is the Nostalgiasm of Settlers 2 Gold Edition. If you enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do check out the other Nostalgiasms on the channel and the Abandonware Adventures for games that you can no longer play. Or no longer buy. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. And bye. I have to do this to get this window. There we go. Bye.